Welcome to Parchment Update, an interview series from the Parchment Community Library to bring your community closer to you. I'm Karen Woodworth, Library Ambassador. I'm speaking today with Dave Wolf. He's the director of the Parchment Community Choir. Thank you for being here today. Well, thanks for inviting me, Karen. Well, I'm um, so happy to talk with you and get an update on how the Parchment Community Choir is coming along. And I'd like to start out um, by asking you to tell us a little bit about your musical background. Well, um, I started teaching in 1984, way back then, and um, I've taught music in three different states. Um, mostly uh, has been elementary general music. I've also done um, church choirs, uh, some band about, about six years, and also um, um, the high school choir as well. And then I currently am directing the Mall City Harmonizers Barbershop Chorus. Um, and I have to add there that we're the, currently the state small chorus champion, which is a, a acapella choir. So, um, and I'm also a member of, oh, thanks a lot. Yep. Uh, we work hard on that. Um, I have a master's in music education from WMU. I'm a member of ACDA, the American Choral Director Association. And uh, while I was teaching um, high school choir, then I brought the school into the music MSVMA Music, uh, Michigan School Vocal Music Association as well. So we went to the festivals and things like that. All right. So great background, many different types of choirs. And of course, we recently enjoyed the Mall City Harmonizers as part of our Second Sunday's Live series here at the library and always enjoy the performances of the Holiday Chocolate too. Um, so what are your goals for the Parchment Community Choir? Well, uh, number one is uh, make a creative outlet for people that are um, that just like to sing. Uh, we just want to let want to have fun. It's a low pressure environment, um, and uh, we also you know want to want to get better, want to improve, keep working on our vocal skills and reading. Um, just have just have a lot of fun singing together, and also um, just to entertain the community whenever possible. And I'm glad you mentioned fun because I have to say that's one of the things that that I love most about singing. It really is fun. It brings a lot of joy. You know, it's it's fun to do it by yourself, um, but singing with other people just takes it to a whole new level. So, what kind of music is the group working on right now? Um, mostly, we're working on Broadway show tunes, either uh, single arrangements or in medleys. Um, also, we have a patriotic medley we're working on as well. Okay. And how can someone join the choir? Do you have openings? Oh, well, obviously. Um, yeah, we're, we're still, um, I call it, we're in the fallback and regroup uh, uh, situation right now. Um, unfortunately, we lost our original director and we lost, lost our original pianist. So we have uh, since then hired a, um, a very, very skilled uh, pianist um, around the area. And uh, so that's that's uh, something I don't have to worry about. But uh, yeah, right now we're trying to rebuild it um, after taking those couple hits there. So I uh, would just invite anybody that wants to come and sing to uh, come to a rehearsal. Um, basically, you're in if you can carry a tune. Um, the more members, you know, the easier it is to get a choir blend. Um, um, I, our goal, I keep saying this, is our, our goal is uh, not to sound like um, a bunch of people that just happen to know the song that walks in a, uh, off the street. We want to sound like a choir, so we, uh, we work on blending, but the more people that you have, then the easier that is to get. And then also, uh, we want to, uh, the more members that we get, then we can work on more um, sophisticated literature. wanted to also add that um, this is kind of the, still the ground level. So, um, you know, members can, new members that join can uh, be a part of uh, steering the organization. Uh, so we don't know what we will become in the future. Um, also, I'd like to um, uh, invite the high school students too. Um, I hear that the parchment, um, you know, school choir is still relatively new. And this is just another uh, opportunity to practice good singing skills and um, just more opportunity reading music and getting better. That's true. And, and I would guess that perhaps singing in a community choir might give them a little bit extra preparation for getting those solo spots in their high school choir. Mm -hmm. Up, no guarantees, but you know, <laughs> speaking mm -hmm. from experience. <laughs> All right. Um, so when do you rehearse? Okay, so our rehearsals are uh, Thursday evenings, um, 645 at the Parchment United Methodist Church. That's at 225 Glendale in Kalamazoo. We're not affiliated with the church. We just use the building for uh, rehearsal. So uh, we also have a Facebook page, Parchment Community Choir. Um, 
uh, gets updated, you know, every once in a while. So uh, just like to invite anybody that likes to sing, come and give us a try. Okay. Do they need to be able to read music or uh, can you make accommodations if they're not there yet? Um, yeah, no, don't have to read music. Um, we, we spend time, um, you know, going over parts and then we've even been known to make some learning tracks um, if that's necessary as well. Um, it, you know, again, the bigger we are, the easier it is because you'd be surrounded by people that do know the part and can read. Uh, that's the same way it is in the barbershop course. I have several um, uh, guys there that they don't read music, but I surround them with guys that do read music. So it, we get the job done. Okay. All right. Well, before we wrap up today, what else would you like us to know? Um, I think that about covers it. Just um, like I said, we're in the fallback and regroup um, situation right now. So we'd like to invite um, anybody that likes to sing, just come and join us and just, um, you know, you can make a big difference at this point. Okay. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you, Karen.